I'm Zach with Blades LLC. Been doing lawn care for many, many, many years now. And uh, I'm just gonna walk you guys through how we do a cleanup. So we've started this one, we haven't finished it. So uh, I thought it would be a great time to pause, take a second and we'll take a quick walk through and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all blown out and then we'll start sucking things up. So let's get into it. So. In regards to fall cleanups, everybody's gonna be a little bit different. Our setup here, we have two trucks. Our one truck pulls our lawnmower with our triple bagger, which you'll see here in just a second. And then we have our Ram, which is currently pulling our dump trailer, our 14 foot sure track. And on the back of that, we have a Billy Goat debris loader. Come with me. So here you can see it. Now, the very first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna blow out around all the buildings, all the trees, which you'll see here in just a second. I chose to blow that entire front section out to the curb because we do have that billy goat on the back, which will suck things up a lot easier than that lawnmower will. So we blew everything in the front of the house out to the road where we can suck it up with the dump trailer. And then out here, you can see this is all set up to be sucked up with the Z-Master 5000. So we're gonna come through here. There is a big pile here. So Kettler blew everything out nice and flat and even so it doesn't overload the lawnmower, which for those of you that are just getting into it, you probably won't have been there yet, but those mowers just like to clog up when you go through them, uh, through too many leaves with them. So. All right, let's keep going here. So like I said, I'm gonna blow out nice around everything. I do wanna mention something right here, you can see. So there's some um, hydrangeas up there and there's some hostas over there. Now you guys might have different types of plants. Uh, some people like them trimmed back in the fall and other people do not. So if they don't mention it, um, we don't add that into our cleanup estimate. So if somebody comes out after the fact here and is like, hey, why didn't you trim down the hydrangeas? Well, you never asked and that's an extra service. So just something to keep in mind. Guys charge extra for the trimming down of the plants, trimming any shrubs. Don't add that in. That's a lot of extra money, believe it or not. You can make near $100 an hour trimming those back or you can charge by the plant, however you want to do it. But that's, there's extra money to be made there. Also, um, when it comes to making extra money, make sure that you are charging a dump fee as well. So you got a bunch of coots back here. It must be migrating south. So we want to do our best. Now we'll do a final blow off once kind of everything is done, but um, mulch, it's inevitable. It's gonna end up out in the yard. Some of it, you wanna try to keep it light, feather it out a little bit. Uh, that'll help with uh, not getting so much out in the yard. And then I do wanna mention, you know, give yourself a good three or four feet around the perimeter. Make sure that you're getting it out there because some is gonna kind of blow out the side of the deck. This always happens, seems to happen, so. There's that. And also when we're doing cleanups, um, so the blower nozzle is on my right side, right? So if we are going, well, this would be clockwise around the house like this. So we're gonna go this way and we're gonna keep the blower nozzle on the inside. That way we can get right up next to the building. Whereas if we're pointed like this, you gotta reach across and then you're kind of blowing at the building. So. If you're turned like this and you're walking through here, you can blow it out. It's much easier to get everything that's against the wall out into the yard. So we want to make sure that our blower nozzle is on the inside. Um, so yeah, I would technically be going yeah clockwise around the house. So that's how that's done. All right, we'll come around to the back here. Make sure, like I said, you blow it around all flagpoles, trees, um, landscaping, bushes. Try to hit the bushes real hard, blow those things out. Um, I got stuff up, uh, beach cleanup, we do that separate. I don't know, if a lot of you guys probably don't have water, but um, we just don't really mess with anything down there. I take everything that's up, blow it in. 
and then uh, we'll come around here and I'll show you so like the property line is right here so you're gonna get some on the neighbors so when I'm over here doing this stuff We'll have to have Kettler kind of blow this in while I'm doing that. You're gonna have to just kind of strategically think through everything because not every place is the same. They all got different obstacles. All the property shapes are different. And uh, yeah, every circumstance with cleanups are usually different. Wind speed, wanna check the wind speed when we're out doing cleanups. That's like the first thing that I do because on a windy day, it's really calm today. The lake is like glass. But uh, on a really windy day, it would be miserable trying to fight the wind. So sometimes you just gotta play the wind and uh, that's the best way to go about things too. So uh, that's why I really like fall cleanups. Super challenging, always different. And uh, yeah, it's a definitely a change of pace. And uh, when we're charging for cleanups, guys, this stuff is not cheap. So do not be out charging you know, a hundred bucks to clean up a yard like this. I mean, you're in the two, three, even $400 range to do something like this. So just make sure that we're charging enough, make sure that we're doing a good job. Get, I mean, the bulk of the leaves, we do spring cleanups here. So we just try to get the bulk in the fall and then the rest come in the spring. So enough jibber jabbering, chit chatting. We're gonna get sucking things up I'll see if I can uh, get a little footage for you guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed. So God bless, see you on the next one.